Good morning, thanks very much for joining me. I hope everybody's well. Welcome to another Five on Friday. For new viewers who, or anyone who hasn't seen these videos before, it's a regular series. I'm not gonna say weekly anymore, it might be less than weekly, but it's a regular series in which I share some of my favorite recent things with you, from books to films to TV to makeup to anything, household. I did a feather duster the other week, didn't I? So um, yeah, I've got a eclectic selection for you this week. So let's jump straight in. Actually, let's not jump straight in because I wanted to say something else first. So just quickly, before we get into my favourites of the week, I'm planning to do another Q&A video. I haven't done one for a few months and I've had a lot of new viewers since then. So I'm going to do an Ask Me Anything Q&A. So if you have any questions for me for that video, please do leave them in the comments. If you could start them with Q&A so I can pick them out easily when I go through the comments, that would be very helpful. Thank you. So um, yeah, leave me your questions in the comments. And now, without further ado, let's get into this week's Five on Friday. And and let's start with a random, let's start with a random thing <laughs> and it's this. You may remember I did a, a sort of collective haul, lots of householdy stuff a while ago and I bought some Febreze. I said that I hadn't used Febreze for ages. I found some in the back of the cupboard under the sink when I was tidying that out. And so I bought a new one because I'd really enjoyed using it. And I love using it just to freshen up household linens. So I spray it all over the bed when I've made the bed in the morning and on the sofas and the cushions when I plump those up in the mornings. And it just refreshes everything nicely. And then somebody in the comments suggested you can do that with Zaflora, water it down and, because I'm quite a big Zaflora fan, as you know, water it down and um, fill it up with water and put it in a squeezy bottle. So that is what this says. Bought this lovely squeezy bottle from eBay, by the way. Isn't it pretty? Blue and pink pastels. Just makes me happy. <laughs> um, I'll put a link in the description box below. In fact, I'll link everything I talk about as far as I can in the description box below. So all the info will be down there. But yeah, this has now got my new favourite Zaflora flavour, which is, um, it was black cherry Merlot, although yesterday I bought pineapple and coconut, which is Mmm, delicious. Um, and watered it down and I just used that instead of Febreze. And of course the bottle is reusable, so it means less Febreze bottles piling up and going to landfill. So it's saving the world of a bit of plastic, I guess. Um, yeah, very, I mean, I know Zaflora comes in plastic bottles as well, but they're smaller and it waters down so it lasts longer, etc., etc. So um, yeah, I think this came in other colorways as well, but I just particularly liked this blue and pink. So let me squirt it on my blinds down there. Oh, lovely, refreshing. So yes, that's a, just a random one to start us off. My next favorite this week has been this book which is written by Louise Pentland, who's a very big YouTuber. She was the first YouTuber I ever watched. And she's written this book. It's sort of autobiographical, I would say, but it's centered around the theme of being a mother, having a mother, mums in general. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this. Very easy to read, um, very much has Louise's sense of humor running all the way through it. And um, all the proceeds of this book go to the NSPCC, which I thought was lovely as well. So um, really enjoyed that, well worth the read. Or if there's any mums in your life who like a bit of, it's, it's humorous, but it's got some sad autobiographical stuff in it as well. Um, so it was a good mixture for me. Um, nice gift for somebody. Christmas is coming. I can't believe I said that in July, August, August even, but it is nearly September, isn't it? Um, but yeah, great book. Really enjoyed that very much. Next, let's talk about perfume. Now, you will know if you've been around for a while that I struggle to find perfumes that last on my skin. I really, particularly since the menopause, even more so, um, I find anything other than the most expensive perfumes, um, um, will not last on my skin at all and even some of the really expensive ones don't as well so I've really struggled a lot to find ones that do last and in fact I've got a big list last time I talked about this a lot of people recommended different perfumes so I've been trying all sorts of different ones giving them a squirt in the shops um, Although I don't think there's any testers at the moment, are there, because of COVID, so um, that's probably problematic at the moment. But before coronavirus, it was working okay. Anyway, I was contacted by a viewer, Jem, who has her own 
per perfume business uh, making designer dupes of designer fragrances and she asked if I'd like to try a bottle and I was pretty skeptical I'll be honest I thought it probably wouldn't be very good and I've, I've tried dupes before and they haven't been brilliant but I tried one company that was pretty good but um, anyway I digress but she offered to send me a dupe she sent me the list of all the different fragrances that they duped and um, I picked out a Tom Ford one called Cherry which I sprayed in an airport and it was absolutely lovely about a year ago really liked it and it's so expensive though Tom Ford perfumes perfumes in general have got expensive I think but um this particular one was eye-watering Tom Ford perfumes are not cheap um so there was very little chance of me ever buying it so when I saw that she had a dupe for Tom Ford cherry I thought yes I will try that so it arrived comes in a box like this that's the bottle so it's quite a good size bottle and it's a pretty good dupe it's not perfect but it's a pretty good dupe um, it's got a really interesting undertone as it dries down of cherry just let me it's got amber in there as well I'm not an expert on scent but it's a pretty good dupe for the Tom Ford one um these retail for around 23 to 26 pounds something like that i'll put a link for her website in the description box i think I'll, I'll put a link to her instagram as well i think the website doesn't actually show what the perfumes are a dupe of i think you have to message her on instagram for that so i'll put her instagram and she's also given me a 10 percent discount code which i will put in the description box below so i also wanted to mention that this last not bad it's not brilliant not the best ever but for the price it's not bad at all and this will last a good few hours on my skin not all day but a good few hours so um that's pretty good for a 20 something pound perfume so yeah i'll put all the information in the description box for that and thank you Gem, for sending me the perfume it's very nice and i'm very pleased with it number four this week is a tv program i think i touched on this in my a video that I made last week um, it is a, on Amazon Prime and it's called the world's toughest race it's presented by Bear Grylls and it's a 10 part series about the world's toughest race it's called the eco challenge it was set in Fiji and it, they run this ra this race is in teams of four and it's absolutely horrendous they do mountain biking trekking hiking whitewater rafting um all sorts of hideous hideous stuff swimming in freezing cold water kayaking it's real adventure racing they call it it's a whole sport apparently who knew it's so completely alien to me that people would put themselves through this the race lasts 11 days and you get to know a little bit about the background of some of the teams and it's amazing it's a real inspiring watch it's the endurance of the human spirit um against the toughest of challenges and the scenery in fiji is spectacular if it sounds like something you'd enjoy or even if it's something that you'd never be interested in at all i think you'd probably get something out of watching it it was really really enjoyable and i very much enjoyed every minute of it and i was quite sad when i got to the end of it I wanted to watch it all over again so yeah world's toughest race on Amazon Prime well worth a watch my final favorite today is one that I've shown before but as we've been going away a little bit more I've been to my parents a couple of times and uh, we've been for a trip away I've been using my travel makeup case which I bought from Amazon and it's reminded me how much I love this case I have had many many travel makeup boxes and bags and cases over the years and this one is the perfect one I finally found it it's um hard sides it's zipped around the top let me just open the zip excuse it's a bit, bit monkey inside because i haven't cleaned it since i last used it some foundation came out on it but um it comes it's compartmentalized but the best thing is that all of these inside things slot in and out so you can arrange them exactly how you want to suit what you want to put in it which is brilliant it's then got this in the lid it's got this flap over bit that velcros and that's the space for all your brushes and then it's also got a zipped compartment within the lid 
that you can pop in eye palettes or face palettes or something like that and it's just so good for me and on a shorter trip away I can fit all my skincare bits and bobs in here as well so I love this I've forgotten how much over lockdown I enjoyed having this so I thought I'd mention it again it came from Amazon I will link it in the description box below they come in various sizes as well I think they do a smaller one and a larger one I think that's the sort of medium size one Anyway, that is it for this week's Five on Friday. I hope that has been interesting or useful or both or even just enjoyable. <laughs> that would work. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got any questions for my Q&A video, as I said. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.